Hello and welcome to today's Monday update. Now, this past weekend included the Flourishing Mind Seminar with Dr. Gene Veith. It was a joy uh, to have such a great turnout. About 100 people were there and I loved uh, seeing how so many people lingered. Uh, long after the seminar was done, they lingered uh, just to keep the conversation going with one another. Uh, thanks be to God uh, for that wonderful speaker, and thanks be to God for that great event. Now, as we begin this new week, uh, let's consider these words from Jesus, from John 15. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Uh, friendship is one of God's many, many gifts. We should thank and praise God for our friends. Yet in our friendships, we also get a glimpse of something bigger, something better. Jesus has called you friend. Jesus is your friend. Wow. Just imagine that, that, that Jesus, God incarnate, God come to us. He has said, you're my friend. And so this week, uh, let us celebrate, let us live knowing that we have a friend in Jesus. Well, looking ahead, uh, as we continue to think about what it means to flourish uh, in all the different ways that God intends for us to flourish, we're going to be thinking about a flourishing community. Uh, and as part of that, uh, thinking about a flourishing community, we have a day of service uh, that's happening on Saturday, October 14th. Uh, this day of service, as part of our uh, Made to Flourish fall theme, this day of service will kick off with a brief time of prayer. That's at 9 a.m. on Saturday. That's going to be happening on Zoom. And the link for that uh, is included in this email today, uh, but also it'll be included in the Friday email to the congregation. So wherever you are on Saturday, you can gather uh, as part of that Zoom meeting. Uh, we're going to gather for a, a time to, to serve others through prayer. Uh, perhaps you've heard it said that the church moves forward on its knees in prayer. So we're going to begin that day, the day of service in prayer, and then that day will continue on uh, with many different service opportunities. Uh, service opportunities where you get to be the hands and feet of Jesus serving your neighbors. Uh, we have service opportunities at various times throughout the day, various locations, uh, and also uh, that, that have a variety of different um, opportunities to serve, whether uh, you're serving on your own, serving alongside young children as a family, whatever it is, we've got something that will work for you. So if you haven't done so already, uh, you may sign up to help serve at one of these different opportunities uh, on Saturday. Now, there's plenty of other things that are happening here at St. Luke. Uh, Keenagers are happening uh, this Wednesday uh, with their monthly uh, fellowship meal and guest speaker. Uh, we have the Amazing Race Road Rally. That's coming up on the 22nd. Uh, we also have a Flourishing Feast a meal as part of our plans for a St. Luke cookbook and just an opportunity to uh, think of another aspect of flourishing, the, the gift of flourishing as we have in table fellowship and great food together. Uh, also, there's a, a women's retreat that's coming up as well. Lots happening, but be sure uh, to check out the weekly emails from the congregation so that you can uh, find the things that, that would um, be meaningful to you uh, in your walk with Jesus as you are part of uh, God's big plans for flourishing. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch this Monday update. God's blessings to you this week as you live as one who knows the peace and the power of the cross.